All right, welcome to the Tape to Tape podcast. My name is Craig Miller, the Commissioner of the Lug. This week's edition, we are here with two of the members of the Queenstown Quails, Mr. Chris Porter, Mr. Matt McGuckin. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Good to Pretty have good. you guys in. Yeah. Good, uh, yeah. Chris Porter, the captain of the Quails. How many years you played in the league? Uh, this is my third year in the league. Uh, started when I was in second year. First as captain. The Quails. First as second as captain. Now. Second as yeah. captain. And uh, Mr. Magoo, this is your first year as, on the Quails? First year. Lug, Lug, Lug League rookie. Lug League rookie, but not on the stat sheet, uh, no. which we're going to get into in a bit. You've really come out of your own uh, in this league here on, on a line with Chris Porter. Um, what I want to start out with real quick off the bat right now is how do you guys feel the performance of the Quails is going thus far in the season? Uh, it's been pretty good. We had a pretty tricky start to the regular season. We had the Law team first Right out of the fray. Right, right, right out of the, the gate, back. yeah. Mid, mid lax season, too. mid so lax season. For those of you who don't know, uh, who are listening, most of the players on the Queenstown Quails also play on the Queens Lacrosse team, um, which is actually something I wanted to talk to you guys on as well. Do you find that a lot of the skills that you have in lacrosse are transferable when you guys hit the ice? It's pretty funny, yeah. A lot of the players play kind of the same style yeah. as they would play lacrosse. Like, yeah, what do you mean? It's easy like, to pick out, like, yeah. Uh, Certain guys carry the puck more or, like, have different tendencies when they have the puck, same as when they're playing across. Yeah, stuff. like guys who be, like, a puck hog on the ice or, like, oh, be a ball okay. hog on the lax field, stuff like that. Like, you see, like, guys who are, like, stay-at-home D and then you watch them in the cross and they're kind of the same. So same it's deal. Fun. I think yeah. I turn the puck over a lot less in hockey than I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I just feel like you guys are in, like, you're in such good shape when it comes to, like, the kind of shape you need to be in when you're playing hockey because you're using a lot of the same muscles yeah, in lacrosse and yeah, stuff. Sure. Yeah. And uh, when you even shoot a puck, it's, it's a lot of the same as throwing uh, the ball. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of guys, uh, when they think about the quails, they think of you guys being ready to go uh, as soon as the lug season starts. Um, but you did have some turbulence starting off uh, the season this year with uh, a lot, couple losses at the yeah. start. Um, and then as the season progressed, Mr. Porter, the concussion. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Um, it was in the uh, quarterfinals for lacrosse. I took a ball to the head. Sheesh. So uh, I was out for, what, a month? And then, so I missed, I think, three or four lug games. So yeah. it wasn't, wasn't the greatest. But And then you came back, and what yeah. happened? He's behind uh, the bench for a game, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one and all, I think, behind the bench. bench. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I came back. Uh, who were we playing? Who were we playing? Oh, it was against Dick Cheese. Dick so Cheese, Megan Farm. Back. Yeah, so I... Uh, had a nice little hattie to start it off. So Notch yourself kid. a hattie right yeah. back after the conky. Yeah. And um, I think the fans really were excited to see that because <laughs> last season you were third in points in the entire league and you started out a little slower this mm-hmm. year. Um, but now do you feel you're coming back into that stride? No, yeah, exactly. I just, I just uh, haven't really been able to score. I, I got a new stick over the break, though. So that'll hopefully, do it. Hopefully that'll change Sometimes it some bit. new lumber can but, uh, change the game. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. So, Mr. Magoo. You come onto the Queenstown Quails. You step on the ice with these boys. What's it like? Uh, what are your feelings? What are your thoughts on the team? First, uh, first impressions. Well, especially from lacrosse. Tons of great guys on the team. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of beauties on the Quails. Yeah. Good squad. Good guys to be around. Everyone's pretty welcoming. Um, playing hockey, no different, I guess. A couple guys who don't play lacrosse, mm-hmm. still beauties. Yeah, yeah. So. Good now, squad. You good come players. from you come from Nipissing, right? Yeah. You played lacrosse for Nipissing. Yeah. And then you just decide to come and play in the lug. Have, did you play hockey like back in North Bay? Uh, I played in the Outlaw League. Okay. You know it's like. It's like, it's like a yeah. inferior lug. Yeah, yeah essentially, <laughs> essentially, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> with contact. Yeah, with contact, exactly. So they're they're playing their game, and then you come to the lug, and you're primarily a lacrosse player, but, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. You come on to the league, and uh, you're in the top five in points, uh, so that says something. Where does your hockey background come from? Well, even, like, I would say my main sport, if someone asked me, would be hockey. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I played, I just played uh, double A and triple A growing up, and then... Played a couple years junior C in my hometown. Yeah. Where are you from? Uxbridge. Uxbridge. Yeah. A lot of beauties in the lugger from Uxbridge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just played a little junior C, and then all roads lead to beer league, right? All yeah. roads <laughs> lead to the lug. Good stuff. Um, what do you guys find? You guys are pretty much running uh, most of the points getting for the quails right now. Um, how do you guys find you play off each other? Like, what? Wh- where do you guys expect to see each other on the ice? Um, I don't, we don't even really expect as much as when we're out there we both kind of see each other well same with uh 
Josh Smith. He finds us a lot. Yeah. We Pretty standard him. to see Porter cruising yeah. the slot. Yeah, oh yeah. My, <laughs> my, my, my game is I do not go in the corner. I, I will sit in the high slot waiting and you for the know pass it, and it, score. It takes a man <laughs> to admit that kind of stuff, you know? And yeah. I'm glad that you did because you're right. You get a lot of bread baskets <laughs> that you get to walk home with. But, hey, it, you find yourself in the slot. You position yourself well. I personally have not seen a guy fill mesh as easily yeah. as you do. Your, uh, your snapshot has a magnet on it, so... Uh, Kudos to that, but uh, does that bother you at all, Magoo, that you could just got to grind it out on wings and stuff and give this guy pizzas up front? No, no, I'm used to that anyway. <laughs> Power forward style player. That was what it was like last year when I was playing with uh, Grant and uh, Santos. Santos, yeah. It was hilarious. Like, I think it was halfway through the years when I really started just kind of playing lazier hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. yeah. So like, they would be going all in the corners. I just kind of wait out front, bang my stick a couple of times, <laughs> get a pass and score. So it was pretty fun. And he got a shitload of points last yeah. year. Third under uh, Murray and Shannon. Under Murray and Shannon, yeah. Um, something else I want to ask you guys. Teams in the lug that you guys are have on the radar. Who um, are they and why? Law. 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 I mean, everyone is saying law. Yeah. I think law is the best team. wants to take a chip off their block. Yeah. Real, real, real well-rounded team. Yeah. yeah. Got, it. Got a lot of great lines. Mustangs, obviously. Yeah. yeah. They've, they've been, the, I think, probably the best team in the past couple of years. Crackhawks as well. Yeah. Oh, solid, everyone wants solid to take, four lines. Everyone wants to take a good D. off the guys at the Those, top. The boys, the Crackhawks boys go hard, too. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, they really they give it their all. Yeah, so. we had them in here for the podcast a yeah. while ago. It's always a fun game against them. Yeah, they uh, they know how to play the sport well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're good for And then, for it. I guess, of new teams, probably boot hockey. Yeah, that was we had a really chippy, chippy affair against chippy them. Affair so it was, a chippy uh, affair against Boo Hockey, which did yeah. result in a loss for you guys. Yeah, um, tough which, which I know was a huge stepping stone for Boo Hockey because they entered this league obviously as rooks, and um, the Quails have been around for what four years, five yeah, years. Yeah, I think this is the fourth year. Fourth year of the Queenstown fourth, Quails. Uh, no, maybe third. I don't know. And uh, a, yeah, a majorly winning team too throughout your team's history. Yeah, I think the first season that we were called the Quails, we went undefeated in the regular season. Yeah. And then lost second round or something like that of the playoffs. So missed out on the finals. But So let's talk last year, playoffs. Yeah. What happened there, Porter? Um, we couldn't score. Couldn't score. Yeah. The mesh super, filler himself. Super <laughs> Troopers goalie played fantastic. Greg Perron is yeah. a very good goalie, yeah. Fantastic game from him. And they uh, they were, they, they, were, they played really well defensively. Like yeah. they, they were kind of just like shutting shutting us down in a way like they weren't letting yeah like if there was a guy trying to kind of sneak in the slot or stay up high out of the yeah. play off the radar they had that guy covered so which is like your game in exactly sense. <laughs> yeah no yeah they, they did a really good job so this defending, year defending the offense of the coils they knew the chris porter scouting report yeah the chris exactly. porter scouting report which is worth its weight in gold <laughs> to some teams um this year you guys are sitting fifth right now with a new playoff um adjustment uh, set up. That means you guys are one spot out of the uh, the bye. You would only have to defeat the people who knocked you out of the final, or excuse me, the playoffs last year, the Super Troopers. So, what's the mentality for going against them? <clears throat> um, I don't know. They, they always put up good games against us, too. We haven't played them this yeah, year. We, missed we had to forfeit the, uh, the one game yeah, yeah, yeah. where we were supposed to play them this year. But even last year, I think during the season, we beat them both times. But uh, I know a bunch of the guys on that team, like, who uh, I went to high school with, so yeah. a bunch of great guys, so it's always fun playing against them. We have them next week, right? Yeah. yeah. That'll be a good game. Or, uh, a good metric to judge yeah. uh, where you kind of fit in the Yeah, pack. exactly. No, it'll be fun. Uh, going into the second half, we're just kind of looking forward to playing every team again. Yeah. Because there were a couple games where we didn't play well, so. A couple shootout losses could have gone either we, way. We, we think we could be uh, top three in the league. Yeah. For sure, by the end. Very interesting. From the horse's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, when, I, uh, when I speak on you guys come playoffs... Do you guys feel that you guys deserve to be course and cup contenders once again? Oh, for sure. Yeah? We so. have, uh, What's it going to take for the Quills to get there? We just need to be able to get team, overall team offense going. I think our defense, is, our defense is probably the top mm-hmm. top few teams in the league. Yeah, for sure. One of the best our, goalies in the we league. We definitely have the best, best goalie in the yeah. league. I yeah, think. everyone uh, will praise Ryan Wagner yeah. for being a stand-up tendy. He's I think, very good. I think for us to be successful, we just need every, all our guys, like, if Porter's on, yeah. I gotta be on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It Could, can't it can't be one or the other yeah. or do you guys run lines? Uh not we have it. If you have we, the players, uh, depends, if yeah. even we lines have, we will. We have yeah, enough, otherwise. then yeah, we'll set up some lines, but uh, lately the past couple of games we haven't just been, been running. Okay, yeah. Well that's the thing is we all know each other pretty well, so it's mm-hmm. not like uh, yeah. 
Like everyone knows each other's games, knows each other's style, so it's fun. So let's talk about um, a player's style and game on the Quails, who I think is notoriously good for what he does, Mr. Alex Burke. Mm. Uh, Norse Memorial winning candidate, or not candidate, he yeah. won last year as the best defenseman. What's it like playing with a guy like that, with that type of vision? Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he's probably the most calm, poised person with the puck. Yeah, Burke, moves in the puck league. Well. He's kind of like Drew Doughty. Yeah. He'll uh, he'll either find the long stretch pass for the breakaway or he'll take it up himself and score. So it's he's confident he's, in yeah, what yeah. he does. Yeah. It's kind of like sometimes it's like having a fourth forward on. Yeah. And then, but you also know that even if he turns the puck over, he's gonna be the first one back on the back check. Yeah, he doesn't like to get beat either. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, he won't let a guy beat him. If a guy's gonna get around him with a dangle, he'll just hit him and take the penalty. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he's actually been getting uh, more pins this, se- this year oh, than yeah. he has last year. He's roughing it up. Yeah. He's had a couple games. He's been great. He's had a couple games this year he's taken more than one. So uh, if that's what it takes to be a good defenseman yeah. in the lug, hey, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what it takes. But um, yeah, it must be sweet playing with a defenseman who you know always has your back if you do if you do slop up or something like that. Oh, yeah, exactly. And if we go one back uh, in the defensive positioning, the goaltender Ryan Wagner. I mean, that must just be a treat to oh, have. Some of the saves he makes are ridiculous. Yeah, like, I mean, Wags keeps us in games every yeah. every other game. Like, and what's crazy, I think that, and the fans definitely won't know this. Um, you, Chris Porter, are the goaltender for the Queens yeah. Lacrosse team, and Ryan Wagner is not. He's a and then yeah. he's a midfielder, <laughs> and then vice versa in the lug, he's the goalie, and he's outstanding. Like, where does this, oh, yeah. like, you know? Oh, I, yeah. I, as I, a goaltender in lacrosse, like, how difficult is that? Like. You know, talk to oh, me yeah. on that. I would. Um, they're pretty different. Yeah, are they I different? Feel, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot. Like Wags, Wags is a lot more. I guess I guess they're both pretty athletic. Like Wags plays a, a pretty crazy goaltending style. Like, yeah. It's not a not a textbook style by no. any means. Uh, we always cheer he, him that he's like James Reimer because he gives because <laughs> he gives up the most rebounds, but he doesn't like. He, you said you're just scaring for it, but it doesn't matter because no. like he'll he'll make the save on yeah. every he's, second chance anyway. He, so, he battles. It's ridiculous. Yeah. He'll, uh, like, I remember there was one time where we thought, like, it was for sure going to be a goal. We were up, like, 4-1, so we didn't really care that they were going to score. Mm-hmm. And then he reaches back with the paddle and, like, pulls it right off the yeah. goal line. Some guy <laughs> thought he had him beat. It's, like, he'll yeah. make just diving saves every game. It's crazy. Speaking on uh, maneuvers that people are known for, Chris, I think the whole league, having played against <laughs> you for many years, know that uh, the Chris Porter maneuver is unquestionably the toe drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your toe drag is very well practiced, and it's great. Um, it's one of the only moves I've seen you pull off recently. It's, it's one of the only moves I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I uh, I think it's unreal. You've gotten a lot of genos from that toe drag. Um, it's a very strong move. I actually have a lot of players come up to me and uh, and if they're talking on Chris Porter style of play, they'll be like, "Oh, that fucking toe drag." Yeah. <laughs> he always releases after he pulls that move. Yeah. Where'd you pick that up from? Is that just like um, some schoolyard shit? It or? was uh, actually back at uh, kind of yeah. Me and my buddy, uh, I went to St. Andrews, so we used to have like a little ice rink out on like the quad at the school. Yeah, yeah. So we'd go out. So me and him just like one day he would like he was like. He was scoring a lot of goals for our school hockey team, so he was showing me like he yeah. would just practice doing this, like yeah. you can't, like kind of like fake a shot, and then if there's a D coming to you, just tell you around him. Yeah. So we practiced that a lot for fun, and it became like a habit. It is habitual to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, last season, every time your goal almost happened, I was like, "Toe drag coming." Yeah, yeah. There it goes. <laughs> and uh, normally you finish though, which is uh, definitely what needs to be done if you're pulling that move off a shitload of times. But uh, Magoo, if you had to say one of your main scoring styles, you have a great snapshot, you rush the net good, you're a big body, um, where do you say you get most of your points? I would say when I was playing, when I used to play contact hockey, yeah. around the net, I don't think I scored a goal outside the hash marks. Really? <laughs> well, you are a big body, so that yeah. makes sense. Uh, but in the lug, I've seen you net yeah, from now the just goes yeah, down Now, yeah. now yeah. I'm usually... Uh, <laughs> Usually, if I'm cruising through the slot, maybe make one or two moves and then try to rip. Yeah. I'm not going to give any goalies my uh, my shooting spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. James, James Shannon made that mistake on this podcast oh, no, a while ago yeah, <laughs> on Wags, and now he's he Wags hasn't let a goal one James yeah. Shannon. Go so uh, that's very savvy yeah, of you. Well, I'd say Magoo's playing mistake. style is uh, very similar to Sidney Crosby. Yeah. Oh, God, um, yeah. He just, just finds it. You've got a wide plant. He literally plant. does everything. A really guys. wide <laughs> plant, which matters when you're, you you do a lot it's of slot play. Puck protection, shots, hands. He's he's pretty much. I thought Anson Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anson Carter, Anson Carter, Anson Carter as well. Yeah. Anson Carter. That's a huge, huge honor. Um, <laughs> phenomenal player. Um, so with that, uh, in wrapping it up, I just want to ask you guys a couple quick things. Um, 
the Quails, going into the next four, five games until playoffs really happen, what is going to be, A, the thing you need to get better at, B, the thing that you need to prevent and you need to shut down? Um, I, we need one to get thing better need... at, I'd say, is scoring, like as overall scoring. Consistently. Through the whole lineup. Yeah, exactly. The scoring night. distribution is not exceptional. Yeah. No, yeah. That, and I don't even think that's really, like, too big of an issue right now. If we're pretty unlucky. Like, a lot of guys on our team will get a ton of chances. Yeah. And, like, even if you and I, like, last game we, were, we weren't putting the puck in the net, and one of the boys usually steps yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, even Jordan thing. Nanos will step up. Yeah, yeah he's been great to Bola see. Yeah, a couple Connor Downs has been uh, yeah, pretty Jason, good. Jason Smooth. Jason yeah, Smooth. We've got lots of guys that can put the puck Jason in the net. Jason Smooth may be the most underrated player in yes. the yes. luck. He, he has is, really good swagger. He is. Silky Mets. He is, without a doubt, an all-star in the lug. He's got very silky and, mitts. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what's something that you guys are going to have to get better at and change? Something you guys need to stop doing? Um, I, could, I should probably back check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess just overall, You're an honest like, man. Team, team effort, maybe. That, that could be the one. Yeah, one thing we, uh, we had it at the start of the year. Yeah, exactly. And we, had it and we, still, we still have it, I, I think. Uh, it's just when you play those teams who aren't like one, two, three, four. Yeah. The effort goes down, and it should like we play down. We play to teams' levels for sure. Yeah, yeah you should be playing at the same all the time, and yeah. uh, perhaps that slouch is what cost the uh, the Quails getting into the second mm-hmm. round of the playoffs last yeah. year. Could be, but uh, who knows? Yeah, I think uh, one other thing probably would be uh, just overall team team defense. I guess as a whole, team defense. like our our D core is fantastic, but yeah, yeah, it's like it's up to forwards to kind of learn their defensive roles as well because we're we're pretty good offensively. Yeah, I don't think we'll have any issues there. Yeah. Um, is pretty much a shit show. Right? I think I think we're probably one of the deepest one of the deepest teams. Crackhawks maybe. Yeah, you guys are well the deepest, rounded. but we're we're pretty close to them. Yeah, you guys are very well. Uh, it's tough to compete with when you play against the Mustangs. You know, Shannon and Keenan on the same line. But uh, how do you how do you guys go about uh, shutting down that? Um, we because it we is kind of just roll the lines against them. Yeah, to be honest, we don't really match or anything, but no. um. We definitely know how to look out for those two guys yeah. every time we play them. Yeah. Because yeah. Shannon was on the Quails, what, two years ago? So James Shannon had, is an ex Queenstown yeah, exactly. Quail. Yes, I he had is. The, the pleasure of playing on a line with him. Which yeah. That'd be kind of like playing with Magoo. Yeah. It's a lot so of just fast yeah, exactly. movement. Yeah. That's they they kind of skate, do a, do a lot of the work for you, so it's nice. Yeah, and uh, they're always good for uh, an apple or two. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's amazing. Um, with that, I want to thank you guys for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thank you. Um, I know the fans are going to be super fired up to hear what the Quails have to say. If you want to come out and check out Chris Porter or Matt McGuckin uh, skate, we play Mondays and Tuesdays. Porter wears this wonderful red Jofa bucket. Or the oh, white no. Jofa bucket. No, cool. I got a new helmet. He's repainted yeah. it. Oh, it's repainted. Okay, yeah. so uh, this bucket's painted. Now you yeah. guys have to come out and check it's, this uh, out. It's gold chrome. Gold Chrome Jofa. Definitely yeah. not CSA certified <laughs> yeah. oh, by, not at all. by yeah. any means. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for coming out. Um, check out www.lughockey.com for all your stats and standings. And uh, Thursday night, I guess we go. Let's do it. Mm-hmm.